In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus ZnNO3 2. This is sodium carbonate and zinc nitrate. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. You can see I have two nitrate ions here and only one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the sodium nitrate. That'll balance the sodiums and everything else is balanced. So we have our molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. Sodium compounds are very soluble, little aq for aqueous, nitrate compounds as well, soluble. And then here we have a sodium nitrate, that's very soluble. Zinc carbonate though, let's check that on a solubility table. So here's our table, zinc down at the bottom, and then carbonate here. So we go down and then over, and we see that I. That I means insoluble, means it's not going to dissolve. So when these two substances react, we get a solid. That's our precipitate here. So zinc carbonate will put a little S for solid. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This is the complete or total ionic equation. So sodium's in group one, that'll have a one plus ionic charge, and the whole carbonate ion, two minus. Good one to remember. So we have two of these sodium ions, and then we have the carbonate ion. And I won't write the states right now. Let's write those at the end. Plus, we have zinc, which is always 2 plus. Even though it's a transition metal, it's an exception. It's always 2 plus. And then this whole nitrate ion, 1 minus. So I have zinc 2 plus. That's the zinc ion. Plus, I have two nitrate ions. So these are our reactants in the net ionic equation. So for the products, we have positive and negative, and that gives us two sodium ions, two Na plus ions, and then two nitrate ions. And then for zinc carbonate, that's a solid. So with net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we have zinc carbonate, just ZnCO3. These are the products. So this is our complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not really interested in them. In the reactants, I have two sodium ions. In the products, I have two sodium ions. I'll just cross those out. Here I have two nitrate ions, two nitrate ions. Cross them out. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus ZnNO3 2. I'll clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for sodium carbonate plus zinc nitrate. You'll note the charge is balanced. We have a 2 minus and a 2 plus. They cancel out. We have a neutral compound. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on both sides. Sometimes people will put the positive ion first. It doesn't really matter, but it does look a little nicer to me at least. So that's our net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus ZnNO3 2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.